What is going on guys? It is your boy Shady Mike Gaming. There is no modding Monday today, but I did want to still hit you guys with some modding content. Um, this is something that a couple of you asked me for, so I'm going to try to keep this relatively quick. Um, I wanted to just do a quick uh, tutorial on a program called 2K Tools. And I will have the link to 2K Tools in the description um, for you guys so you know you can go ahead and check that out. This is a powerful modding tool that has a lot of different capabilities for NBA 2K21 um, and NBA 2K20. Uh, there is a version for it as well. Um, today, we're going to be uh, talking about how to link a certain court to always show up when you select a certain jersey for a team. So that way, if you have a bunch of different court mods for different teams, you can, you know, kind of pair them so that if, you know, they choose, you know, the black jersey or something like that, it'll choose a black court that you chose for them. So this will not be too long. Let's get right into it. It's actually fairly simple. When we talk about, you know, linking a court to a jersey, basically I have this white Mavericks um, jersey here. This is their basic home. I want them to use their basic court. Come on over to their classic uh, throwback jersey. They have a classic green um, jersey here. I also have a modded uh, classic green court for the Mavericks. I want that court to come up when I'm using this jersey. Um, then obviously I have a gold jersey here and I have a gold court for them as well. So I want, you know, that gold court to show up only when I select this jersey. So first thing you're going to need is 2K Tools itself. This is a powerful tool made by Luya, uh, the king of NBA 2K uh, modding. He made the hook. He's made this program. And we're going to be covering in this uh, series here, this little mini series that I'm doing, a bunch of different functionalities of this program. But for day, today, we're just going to be talking about linking the uh, the jerseys with the courts. So first things first, um, head over and you know get this downloaded, get this installed, um, launch it up, and obviously launch 2K, and you'll be good to go for the next step all right guys so let's go ahead and make this happen first things first to get started on this you're going to want to have your modded folder open and 2k tools as well i'll have links you know for 2k tools in the description obviously i'm going off the assumption that you all already know how to install the modded jersey or the modded court that you you know are trying to pair together you can pair courts with non-modded jerseys you can pair them to the default jerseys as well um, but you know for today we're going to be pairing them to a modded jersey so um if you don't know how to actually install a mod um watch my nba 2k 20 modding tutorial uh, it actually is everything's exactly the same for nba 2k 21 i may redo that one day for 2k 21 but it's pretty much it's actually the same exact thing so um i'm going to install for the mavericks um a green court that matches uh, the classic court that's gonna match the green classic jersey and a gold custom court that matches the uh, gold uh, city jersey. I already have a mod installed for the default um, Mavericks court and you can see the Mavericks court number is F017. Um, and for the uh, classic court, I just put F017 classic and F017 gold for the gold alternative. You obviously cannot name the files the same thing because 2K tools needs to be able to uh, differentiate in, you know, between the actual files. So now we're going to go into the process of actually pairing the jersey to each specific court. So what you're going to do is you're going to we're going to head over into 2K tools here. You're going to select. Notice it does say 2K21 is running. Um, I do have 2K21 running there. There we go. It took a little bit for it to show up, but uh, we're going to tab back out over here. There we go. All right. So for 2K tools, we're going to hit teams. We're going to go to the Dallas Mavericks. Obviously, um, we're going to scroll through teams um, and we're going to hit edit team here. Um, and what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to come down to stadium and you're going to hit edit on the stadium and you can see um, their floor file is F017. Um, it looks like they have an F017 alt. Um, I'm not going to be using that. Um, so we're going to get right into it. So for the alternate floor, I'm going to go ahead and take this out here. And I'm going to type F017 classic. That is alt floor one. 
And here it's gonna say Alt Floor 1 Jersey. What jersey do we wanna pair it to? Click it, you see there's none. You're gonna hit Select Jersey. Uh, obviously we're going to have to find uh, the Mavericks here. So scroll down, Dallas Mavericks. And it's gonna show you a little, you know, thumbnail of the jerseys if, you know, especially if you don't remember. Um, where you, you <laughs> what slot you have it in so here is the uh, green uh, Dallas classic jersey we're going to confirm this here and you do see that that is linked now alt floor one and this is you know obviously the title of the jersey slot here and then we are going to go to alt floor two and I'm just going to copy because I don't feel like typing here but we're also going to type gold for f017 gold that's what we named the uh, first or i'm sorry the second one and then for jersey two select jersey we're going to scroll down find the mavericks again confirm the gold jersey and we should be good to go they are linked all right guys, so now we're gonna be here in freestyle. We're gonna go ahead and find the Mavericks. And really quickly, I'm gonna keep scrolling, find this one, and we will load up. Um, I got an SSD, so hopefully it's fast <laughs> uh, for the, uh, the loading times. There we go. And look, we have the green quartz. Bang, all right, X out of that. Back into the freestyle. Find the Mavericks again. Find the gold jersey. And we have the gold court. Um, and then, you know, obviously, if we go to the Mavs here and do the default, boom, boom, boom. We have the default court, and it's that simple, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, much more to come in terms of 2K Tools tutorials. There's so much more you can do uh, with this tool in terms of customization and you know team accessory colors, and we're gonna cover all that. Uh, but in the meantime, feel free to download the tool and you know mess around with it yourself. And who knows, you may uh, discover something that even I don't know yet. Um, if you need help uh, with this or anything else, you know, mod related, make sure to join the 2K Modding Society. That's our modding Discord. Uh, we just hit 2,000 members, so uh, I'm very happy to, uh, you know, have reached that milestone. You know, it's awesome, you know, having a good time over there. Um, to connect with me, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I personally am the most active. Um, and another thing, too, one question that I get asked a lot is where do I uh, get my music from? And pretty much the answer to that question is I, I realistically just download free tracks and then kind of edit and customize them uh, into extended versions for you know my voiceovers and modding monday episodes and things of that nature um if you're interested in you know any of those tracks that i've started to work on um i actually started posting them onto my second channel which is called shady plays um i'll make sure that's linked in the description as well you can head over there and subscribe uh, for more of that type of content but other than that guys thank you so much for stopping in shady mike i am out Peace, Greece.